Good morning, welcome to today's video. It is already part way through the day. It's almost two. I had a pretty good workout this morning. Worked out a little bit later than I intended because I got like no sleep last night. You're fine. You no, but anyway, it was a good workout. And we got a new rug for our bedroom because Chris has hated our current one for quite a while and it's just dirty. So basically all of the rugs in our house are from Rugs USA. Uh, they're pretty affordable. They have like dupes of the really popular ones. All of our rugs are pretty big and none of them were over 400 bucks. And rugs are freaking expensive. It's annoying. So anyway, this one's from Rugs USA. This one I feel like has actually held up pretty well considering it's in the main area and it's ivory. <laughs> um, but the one upstairs is like the braided one and it just... I don't know if it's like the wool texture or whatever, but it just, it does not look great anymore. So we got a new one. Let me get some scissors. That's what happens when you have three cats who pluck and throw up often. Stop it. <laughs> You're aggressive. You see the food? Yum. There you go. You got the chewing thing down, don't you? you Wanna try it yourself? Oh. Nice. Halfway there. Yeah, get it up there. You got this. Just gathering, stockpiling. Wow. Oh. <laughs> See, it's not that. It's not that easy. Oh. It's not that easy at all. <laughs> Layla, no. I feel like when you're looking at this from a distance, it still looks really good. I always do little try-ons right here. I love the way it looks. But when you look at it up close, um, see what I mean? It's just like, it looks so worn and there's, there's stains everywhere. So, new rug. Um, <laughs> getting this out from underneath the bed frame is not gonna be super fun. But we gotta do that first. See, see all the stains? It's just not pretty anymore. Um, gotta get this out, unroll a new one. <laughs> Ugh, this is gonna be interesting. You're doing great! You're doing great! Okay! Getting the new one in is gonna be the Oh, yuck! I know. That's why I said I want a carpet cleaner. Carpet cleaner. All right, time for a water break. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I mean, the cats have probably thrown up in this room. <laughs> Down because that thing is heavy. So you're gonna let me do it? Yeah. Let me? Yeah, I'll let you. Sorry for all the noises, cleaning. Uh, we have a spot cleaner going right now. So the rug is too yellow. It's like a cream instead of an ivory and that is the really annoying thing about buying stuff online. But I feel like rugs, you kind of have to. I don't know. So we're gonna return that. I like the feel of it and the look of it. It's just too yellow. 
and on our carpet it looks even more yellow <laughs> so I don't know back to square one but I guess the positive is we can fully clean our carpet now I mean not fully but more of it I just need some iced coffee I'm gonna vacuum down here really quick before she needs to take a nap <laughs> For dinner, Emmy is having, she had milk <laughs> from me, specially made. And then she's having apples, pumpkin, and cinnamon. Are you doing a full day of eating for our baby? <laughs> no. Fun. Um, and then we are gonna have chicken salads. One of my main goals is to, I mean, we always eat at home, but like cook more. And I feel like this week we did a really good job of that. So that's definitely a win. <laughs> Yeah, chicken salads, air fry some chicken. You could do your own salad, but we just buy the bags because it's easier. Um, it's what works for us, and they're delicious. And they're big. I love it. But what do you want to Chris asked me if I want to watch a movie tonight, and I said, yeah. So we still have to watch, or we still have to record our couple's Q&A. That's literally from so long ago. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow. I keep saying that. <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, I'm excited yeah. to have a chill night and then maybe have a little bit of a slower start tomorrow morning. Probably not though. I like getting my workouts in earlier in the day. I don't know. We'll see. But today was a pretty good day. This week was a really good week. Wait, no, Luke. She's a great eater, but we have just gotten so distracted. And I know that that's very common, but I already, like if, if you've been around for a while, uh, you know that our breastfeeding journey has not been my favorite. I've stuck it out, honestly, very, very proud of myself for making it to the six months, because that was my goal, and I'm still going strong. Um, it's definitely gotten a lot better. She's just so distracted now, and it makes it really annoying, if I'm being honest. <laughs> um, but as long as I feed her like right after she gets up and she's still a little drowsy, it's not horrible. But she's a great eater. She likes most of the foods and she's just a super quick, um, like nursing baby. She eats really quick, which I don't, <laughs> I don't mind. Get it over with. Hello, over here. You want to play over on your mat? Is that what you're looking at? <gasps> Yum! So yeah, we're gonna eat and then hang out with her for a little bit. Then she's gonna get a bath and then a bottle and then bedtime. And then Chris and I will have a little movie night with some snacky poos and a popcorn. <gasps> yep! I'm sorry you have the hiccups again. What the heck? <laughs> she grabbed it, tipped it over. Uh, chicken Caesar salad. No, no, no.
What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How do you say a not good night last night? <laughs> she had a couple good nights last week. Uh, like during, why is it so, so hot? During the work week. We're chalking that up as a win, but it's still not consistent yet. And last night before midnight, she woke up. Like we had to go up and give her her pacifier or feed her more than probably 10 plus times before midnight. Yikes. So she ate twice last night. Uh, and then she, after I fed her at like four, she was wide awake. So I went upstairs and tried to put her back down. It looked like she fell asleep and then she woke back up. So Chris was up with her for a little bit. <laughs> and then she went back to sleep woke up at like 7 30 ish i hung out with her while chris was sleeping we're in the tag teaming stage of parenting right now so one we don't lose our minds and two we can actually get some sleep so i just pulled up to the gym it is 11 30 gosh it's bright outside it's beautiful but i'm blinded uh it's 11 30 i have two bags to drop off to play-dohs old clothes, old swimsuits, lots of stuff. Uh, so I'm gonna drop those off after I work out and then I also need to go to Ulta. Your girl needs a spray tan. Oh my gosh. And we go to Minnesota this weekend. So I feel like that's the perfect time. I know, I mean, we might work out there once, but that's the main reason I don't spray tan or like do a self tan is because I hate when it rubs off on my workout clothes. Inevitably it's gonna happen, but I know we're gonna be gone for a few days So I feel like it'll look good for a few days And then by the time it starts fading off and I'm working out it won't be like rubbing off as much as it normally does I don't know that it just bothers me so much. I hate it. And I'm like, I'll just be pale. It's fine Anyway, Ulta for self tanner. Uh, I need basically all my hair products and I need more makeup <laughs> Naturally, I run out of all of it at the same time, so it's gonna be expensive, but that's fine because I literally buy makeup like once a year. The last time I actually, yeah, the last time I bought makeup was when I found out I was pregnant because I had to get like pregnancy safe products, so they last a long time, but it still just hurts my soul whenever I have to buy them. Oh well, all right, I'm gonna head in and do cardio. I'm just doing the Stairmaster today because I had some tough workouts last week and I need to record some workouts at home when I get back. Um, I need to record some more exercises. I'm already starting to work on the next eight week challenges just so I can really stay on top of those and because I'm including new exercises that involves me recording them, editing them, uploading them. So I'm trying to do a really good job this year of having those done way in advance or at least like doing like one week of workouts at a time so it's not all left to the end. So yeah, instead of doing a huge workout here and then going home and doing not like a full workout but working out more and then trying to start off tomorrow strong. Cardio it is. Yesterday ended up being a full off day. I'm thinking like 30 minutes on the Stairmaster. showered. Uh, I know Chris had a little bit of an interesting time with Emmy. She's up for a nap right now. Um, he's like, she's napping on him. So I'm going to try to quickly put this stuff away, get myself kind of together. Um, so then I can take her off of his hands when she gets up so he can have a break. I know his siblings are all over at his parents' house watching the Bengals game. So I don't know, maybe he'll want to go over there. But anyway, I figured I would do, like show you all the stuff I got at Ulta because I'm not gonna lie, I got a little excited. 
like I said, I hardly ever buy perfume or <laughs> perfume. My brain. I hardly ever buy makeup. Um, usually the only time I go to Ulta is to just get more shampoo and conditioner and like detangler and stuff. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go around the aisles, see what cute eyeshadows they have because my eyeshadows are, I, I don't even want to know how old they are. They're, yeah, well, we're not even gonna talk about it. <laughs> They're very old. And I found a color palette that I liked a lot. So I figure we go through that together. I still get questions about like morning routine, nighttime routine, skincare routine, all that stuff. Um, it's the same. Every time I get out of the shower, I put see me on and then I put, well, if I'm, you know, if I shower earlier in the day, I put the tinted moisturizer on and then at night if I shower or after I wash my face, I do see me and then revive me serum. I believe my box is still in stock. If it is, I will link that down below, but you get my four favorite products over 50% off, which is phenomenal. So yeah, I'll link that down below if that's still available. I think they have some boxes left. This is why I needed to go <laughs> to the store. Nothing's happening. I can feel there's like a tiny bit left. No. What about this guy? Probably not. I have basically used, we'll talk about this in a second. Um, it's a Tendi Tangler has been my favorite forever. I rotate between all of the ones they have because they all smell a little bit different. I like all of them. This is like their original one. I do like the original. Just makes it so much easier to brush my hair. Smells great, has heat protectant in it. Love it. So this needs thrown away. Um, and then I do this. Oh, I should have gotten more of this. Oh well, I'll order it. Um, the volumizing spray, I love this stuff. I use it even if I'm not blow drying my hair. I didn't wash my hair yesterday. I just actually, um, I tried this new dry shampoo. I love it, Amika. It smells really good and it actually worked really well. Prior to using that, the Batiste dry shampoo and Joico. Those were the only ones that seemed to work well in my hair. A lot of the other ones I tried weighed it down or just <laughs> didn't work at all. Um, but I like that one a lot. That's what, um, I got that in my like Hydro Jug Christmas box and yesterday was my first time using it and I loved it. But uh, because I didn't wash my hair yesterday, it just made that shower feel even better. I, even if I, if I don't wash my hair, I still shower obviously or like rinse my body off, but it's just not the same fresh, clean feeling as if you wash your hair. Having clean hair is truly the best in my opinion. Okay. Now that <laughs> my hair is at least kind of separated and like put into place, go through what I got at Ulta, put my ring back on. I will do like a full little review over the Aura ring once I've worn it for a little bit longer. So far I'm liking it. My only downfall is I feel like this hand is like a half size bigger than this hand. And I think I'm like right between sizes because if I would have gone with the bigger size, I think it would have been too big, but this one is a little snug and I most of the time take it off with cold water because it's like, it fits perfect here, but getting over my knuckle, I told you I got a little excited uh, in the store. This is not something I was planning on buying, but I've seen a couple other people talk about this and I don't like doing a lot to my hair on a day-to-day -day basis. And I do like my hair when it's curled. It just, it takes forever. I have a lot of hair, but it's thin. It doesn't hold curl well. In order for it to hold curl, I have to use like a smaller barrel and smaller sections of hair. But I've seen people use this guy. I don't know if they use the Hot Tools brand. I personally have like all Hot Tools stuff and I love it. So I got this to try, we will see. I'll try that this week and we'll report back on it. Um, and then, Self Tanner, I got the Two Hour Express Medium and Two Hour Express Dark. I got the smaller and the dark one. I literally buy one of those once a year. Like I buy a medium and a dark once a year. <laughs> um, and then I've never tried this before, so I got both just to see. I have had 
I've been using Loving Tan for two or three years now. They've reached out to me multiple times to like partner with them to do a full video. And I, this is where I'm like a bad influencer. I don't even call myself that, um, but I get it. I have a following, I, you know, whatever. They've reached out to me multiple times and like, I'm like, this would be a great partnership. I already spend money on this. I already love it. I already use it. But if you, if part of the requirement is I have to do a full dedicated video and like send it for approval and all of these things, you lost me. That's a lot of work. I don't like having to be like, oh, am I, am I not allowed to say this? Like, I don't, I don't like feeling, I don't know if they would be that way but that's what I think in my head. I responded to them and I'm like, oh, that sounds great. Like I already love your products. This would be a perfect partnership. And then yeah, I'm like, they sent back the requirements of like a video of this length, doing this, 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 this. I'm like, eh, that's too much to think about. <laughs> so um, otherwise I probably would have a discount code with them. So sorry, I guess. Anyway, I have never tried their face tan. I always put that on my face, which like I probably shouldn't. So deluxe face tan, I got medium and I got dark. We shall see. The medium is the one I always start with. And then I feel like after I do it, cause I'm the dark, I'm like, there's no way I can do dark. I'm so pale. The medium is like very mild. And then dark always ends up looking really good as long as you don't like layer it on. Um, and then I got, more travel shampoo and conditioner bottles. I like keeping one in my gym bag and then another set in my travel bag, like my travel um, little toiletry bag. And then I'll just refill them with like my main shampoo and conditioner. I got another travel smaller size detangler, a big size detangler because as you saw, it was out. And, oh, here I got two more things. Um, I got, I got another Shape Tape concealer. I was using, oh gosh, what was the other brand? I don't know. I moved away from Shape Tape for a while. While I was pregnant, I was using a different one. I liked it, but I definitely like this one a little bit better. And the one I currently have is a little too dark because I'm so pale. So I got light neutral. Hopefully that is a good color. And then I got this eyeshadow palette. It is like my dream in terms of the neutral colors in this. Love it. It's like browns and light pinks. I feel like it goes really well with my skin tone. Those are the colors I naturally gravitate towards. So what is this? Born This Way Sunset Stripped. So that is the stuff I got. <laughs> I guess not super exciting. Very expensive though. All, I, all this stuff is annoyingly expensive, which is fine. Once again, I don't buy it often, so it's whatever. But thankfully I also had a bunch of points, so it took off like a hundred bucks. <laughs> I'm still like, <laughs> why is all this so expensive? I am super excited to try this and I will report back. I feel like I'm either gonna love it or hate it. I think it will work well on my hair. I guess it's just gonna depend on if it stays and if I like the kind of wave it gives me, I don't know. I am very excited to try this though. Okay, I'm gonna put this stuff away. Um, oh, I also have to show you the closet. I did a really good job organizing earlier. Put those little shoe bins up at the top. Got everything up off the floor because I had like a row of shoes on the bottom that I hardly ever wear, but it's stuff when I do want them, like boots. I don't wanna have to buy another pair, so I've had these boots for years. Put those all up above. Everything's up off the floor. It looks really good. I still need to vacuum, but it's been a very productive day especially considering what our night looked like last night. Yeah, get all this put away. Get ready to take little Emmy girl from Chris so he can have some time to <laughs> unwind and just time to himself because we love little Emerson literally more than life, but she's exhausting. In this current stage we're in, I don't know. It's just we're sleep deprived, which makes whenever she's fussy even harder. And then she still fights naps most of the time. It's just a little bit of a rough season. But when she's like in between naps, she's super happy and fun and it's amazing. Oh, and the order I dropped off at Play-Doh's is done. Maybe I'll take her to pick that up or just do that tomorrow. I don't know.